That's right. The Republican majority here in Oklahoma will not budge on gun control legislation, much to the frustration of the Democratic minority. But as you've mentioned just previously, uh, there are several ongoing efforts here at the state capitol by Republicans to improve school security. I mean, it's awful. I, it's numbing now, I think. I mean, we, we see these all too often. Another mass shooting in the U.S., leaving lawmakers with familiar reactions. It's devastating and, and become all too normal. Democratic State Rep Forrest Bennett is part of a small minority, mostly Democrats, who argue some sort of gun control is the best way to minimize the risk of a school shooting here in Oklahoma. And it seems that the solutions in the minds of a lot of my colleagues are to give more people more weapons and that um, somehow that that will make it better. There are two bills currently being put forward by the Republican supermajority. In the House, lawmakers want to arm school staff who have concealed carry permits, doing away with more extensive training that's currently required. The police can only drive so fast. They can only run so fast. How many students could be shot in the next three to four or five minutes? Over in the Senate, Dwayne Pemberton has authored legislation that looks to provide districts with more money to improve school security. It includes an on-site visit by the OSSI, which is Oklahoma School Security uh, Institute. They will come in, spend several days, go through the entire building, entrances, exits. Uh, they'll look at infrastructure. And the governor, Governor Kevin Stitt, not commenting on this latest mass shooting at a school in Tennessee. But we did hear from the Oklahoma State Superintendent Ryan Walters. He issued a statement via Twitter just yesterday. He said he was saddened by what happened in Tennessee, adding that his department will be announcing several new initiatives that he argues will help prevent shootings like what we saw in Nashville. And that Senate school security bill is currently awaiting a House hearing, a hearing in a House committee, but is currently being held up because of a fight over education policy between the House and the Senate.